Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marissa Lene and I'm a curly hair content creator. I make videos on curly hair, lifestyle, beauty products, a little mix of everything. But in today's video, I am so excited because I'm gonna be reviewing product empties that I've saved up over the last few months. I'm gonna be 100% honest on my thoughts on these products, if I think they're worth the money, how they work for me personally. I know most of y'all are here for the hair content. So the first half of the video is gonna be all hair products, then we'll move on to skincare and beauty. But before I jump into the reviews if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet I would so appreciate you clicking the subscribe button I'm trying to hit 30k before the end of the month so that would help so much also I'm on Instagram and TikTok, so if you are just finding me here make sure to check those links out I have them linked in the description box so we're gonna keep this intro short and sweet and jump straight into the reviews First up, we have one of my favorite hair masks of all time. It's the Power Up Protein Treatment from Heritage by Mindy McKnight. And the great thing about this product is it's between the $9 and $10 range. I love being able to recommend drugstore affordable products because I know curly hair products can tend to get on the expensive side. But this is what I reach for whenever I get highlights or get some kind of color treatment. My hair is feeling weak and it needs to be strengthened. Or if my hair is feeling over moisturized and feeling like limp that's when I reach for either a clarifying shampoo or a protein treatment so 10 out of 10 I will continue to repurchase this over and over again next up we have the Briogeo curl charisma rice amino and avocado leave-in defining cream I will never not have one of these in stock this is like a staple in my curly hair lineup if I'm not trying out or reviewing another product this is this is what I'm using it costs $24 and I think it's worth every scent it is that good it just really gives my hair that bounce and lift there are no sulfates silicones or parabens in case you follow the curly girl method i personally don't i am perfectly fine with using sulfates and silicones but just you know that's an added bonus in case you do follow the curly girl method 10 out of 10 i will always continue using this and i will always recommend this i forgot to mention this but all the products that i love i will have them linked down in my description box on the flip side we have the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. This is also $24, but to be honest, it is not my absolute favorite hair gel to reach for. For me personally, it's like a 6.7 to seven on a 10 point scale range. But I just feel like with this gel, it gives me a little bit more frizz than I'm used to. And it's funny because it says it's a frizz controlled gel, but it just never really sits well in my hair. For me personally, I'm not gonna repurchase this again. Next up, we have the Less Love Your Curls All-in-One Styler. This one is specifically for curly hair. They have a wavy hair version as well. I love this. I love this 10 out of 10, absolutely repurchasing. This is the only product that I agree it's strong enough to be a one and done type of product. It's more of a gel cream texture. It's also sulfate, silicone, paraben, mineral oil free. So again, curly girl method friendly in case you're looking for products that fall in line with that. I honestly have been out of it for a little while. I forgot how much I like this, so I will be repurchasing this very, very soon. I feel like this next product, like, jumped out of the box and ran away because I swear I was just looking at it last night and it's not here. It's the Odell hair gel. It is my favorite drugstore hair gel. I just tried to pick it up last week at Target and it was sold out. I guess that just goes to show that it's not only me who feels that way. It's very thin, very runny, which is exactly how I like my gel. I think it makes it so easy to apply to my hair. Gives a really nice hold. It's not crunchy. It's so affordable and I'm actually shocked that I'm already out of it. I guess I've just been using it so much. Odell is another really solid hair care brand that you can find at Target that's pretty affordable. I haven't really tried the curl creams, but the gel is A1. Like nine out of 10, yes, I will be repurchasing. Okay, so I have a little mini travel size of the Color Wild Dream Coat for curly hair. This one is specifically for curly hair. Make sure you're catching that difference. One is made for straight hair, one is made for curly hair. This is only $12, which I think is really good. It's a travel size, it's not like, it's not huge, but for like a Sephora product and wanting to try it out for the first time, I think $12 is fine. I really like this a lot. It really does help me control my frizz. Now. There have been instances where people don't use this correctly. You really, really have to coat your hair with this. So what I do is whenever I'm sectioning my hair to style it, I give this a good spray on each section to make sure my hair is fully coated. But it just blocks out humidity, blocks out frizz. So if it's ever raining or I know it's like super humid, 
this is what I reach for. I'm gonna repurchase, but the full size is $24. It's a way bigger bottle. So I'm definitely repurchasing this. Okay, so next up we have the Living Proof Curl Definer. Ah, okay, this is a little hard because I really, really do like this. It's completely empty. It's not a small bottle. I used it all the way up, but it was sent to me in PR. I actually didn't look at the price of it until a few days ago, like preparing for this video, and I was fully planning saying, yes, I love it. You should try it out. But then I saw the price. It's $38, but to be fair, Living Proof as a whole, as a brand, is definitely more on the expensive side, so it falls in line with the price point of all their other products. I just, I have a hard time recommending a curl cream for $38. I, like personally, I would give this like an eight, an 8.5. So I would need it to be like an 11 for me to justify repurchasing this. So yes, I love it. I personally would not repurchase this for $38 though. So do with that information as you will if you like Living Proof as a brand. I'm sure you'll love this. Um, Please ignore how gross these bottles are. We use the heck out of these, so there's good reason why there's so much like just dried up product on the bottle. This is the apple cider vinegar sulfate free shampoo and conditioner from AG. And again, it's a bit of a pricier product, but this I would repurchase again, even though it's on the pricier side. So just to tell you how much I like this, I actually threw out the half gallon of refills that come with it. So that's why it's so gunky because I kept refilling. I think I got three refills. It felt really squeaky clean, but it's sulfate free. So it's a lot less harsh than using a clarifying shampoo. So this was great when I felt like I had some product build up. It wasn't time to clarify just yet, but I wanted a really clean filling. This is what I would reach for. It's $34 for this bottle. Yes, that's pricey. And it's 68 for the half gallon. I think I would only repurchase if I was ready to buy the half gallon because it does bring down the price if you buy it in bulk. I also think that's very like just environmentally friendly. So yes to the shampoo. For me personally, no to the conditioner. I would not repurchase this again. I have pretty coarse thick hair and then I have color damage and just, I need extra moisture. However, my husband Ray who has finer hair really like this conditioner. So. Maybe if you have a different curl type than me, you might enjoy the conditioner, but the shampoo is really what won me over. Yes to this, I would repurchase. I think it's great. Okay, I <laughs> I found this in a drawer. I wasn't gonna originally put it in the video, and then I remembered how much I hated this product. There's really not a nice way to put this. It's It just was not good for me personally. I would not recommend this to anyone, which sucks because I love the brand as a whole. There are a few products that I really like, but this is the Fable & Main wild ginger purifying scrub. I was really excited to use this one day. I had like a lot of buildup and I was like, ooh, my scalp could use a really good cleanse. But just the, the texture was really thick and chunky. Like it felt like there were big chunks of salt in my hair and it was really hard to wash out. And my hair felt so dry after using this. So I really hope they reformulate this. That's all I'm gonna say about this. I just, it's a pass for me. I wouldn't try it again. Would absolutely not repurchase. If you are on the hunt for a good mousse, no matter the price point, this is what you need. You need to try this. It's the Heritage Sky's the Limit, right? Yeah, Sky's the Limit Volume Mousse. And it's under $10. It is at Walmart. This mousse is so good. I've talked about it tons over on Instagram. It just gives me such a good, lifted, volumized look and I just love the price point. The price point is amazing. It's literally, it's sulfate free, paraben, silicone, aluminum, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. Like what else could you ask for? And the signature scent is really nice. It's a little bit of a stronger fragrance. So just a heads up there, but under $10, this is my favorite mousse for sure. Okay, kicking off the skincare section of this video. Starting off with the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Absolutely not. Absolutely not solely based on the fact that this is $68. $68. It just, it kind of blew my mind. This was sent to me in PR. I had no idea how much it was. Um, I, let me back up. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was a really good solid cream. I used all of it. It is completely empty. It wasn't until I was like, mm, yeah, I'd repurchase this again. I was like, if it's like, 26 to $28, yes, I'll repurchase. 
when I saw that it was $68, it's just like I can't in good faith recommend this when there are a handful of other moisturizers that are a fourth of the price that I would stack up against this and it would perform just as well. I think Drunk Elephant as a brand has good products. Extremely overpriced. You're paying for the packaging, the brand recognition, which is fine. If you have a brand that you really love and you just want to support them, I get it. I have a handful of brands that I'm like, yes, this is a little bit overpriced, but I would purchase it because I love the brand as a whole. I, I don't love Drunk Elephant that much. Not enough to pay $68. It's, it's a no for me. On a more positive note, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream from Cosrx. As you can see, I have multiple empties here. I love this stuff. It's uh, in the 20 to 25 dollar range. These last me about a couple months each, and it, it's just so hydrating. It feels so nice on the skin. It's really soothing. The texture is more of like a gel cream, like it's not super thick and heavy, so which is perfect for my combo to oily skin. I felt like it sat on my skin really really nice but as soon as we dip into the fall and winter months yes i'll be repurchasing this in the next few months i am a naturium stan i love literally all the products that i try from naturium so this is not going to be the first product that you see from them in this video but this is the niacinamide cleansing jelly it has niacinamide three percent plus hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It is such a just gentle, really enjoyable face cleanser. This is my second favorite cleanser, but this is my husband Ray's personal favorite. Like he has one in the shower that he is almost done with. I think we have about this much left. I also just picked up the travel size of this that I took on a business trip. So yes, 100% repurchasing this. Next up, we have the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops from Glow Recipe. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not sure if I would repurchase this again. Not because I didn't enjoy it. I think it was a very, very nice product. It smells really delicious. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, but very faint, like not overpowering at all. And it gave like a really nice glow from within. It's just for me personally, since I have oily to combo skin, I really don't need anything that adds a dew or a glow just because at the end of the day, I'll end up like a grease ball. $35, what I would say is if you have dry skin, I think it's a really, really nice product to layer under your makeup. Like, I can see you enjoying this. For me personally, I would not repurchase, but I still think it's a good, solid product. And we are back with a Naturium product. This is the Naturium Vitamin C Complex Serum. $21, this is my third bottle. This is the vitamin C that I reach for every single morning. If you have dark spots or dull skin, this is great. Just make sure that you are always pairing it with sunscreen. I like that the bottle is solid and that it's not glass or like where the sun can like penetrate so I feel like it helps it last longer. Yes, this will always be in my morning skincare lineup. Um, Next up, we have the Elemis Superfood Facial Wash. By my face alone, you should be able to tell what I think about this product. I could not get over the smell. Like it literally gave me a headache. Oh. Yeah, it is way too strong. I mean, I see what they're trying to do. It is very much like a like eucalyptus spa-like scent, but it's like so strong that it's unbearable. I tried to use it a second time. I could not get through it. I washed it off my face. I will not be using this again. Um, in case you're interested, it's $36, which Elemis is a little bit pricier of a brand too, but it's a prebiotic gel cleanser. I couldn't even tell you how it performs. It might be a really nice cleanser. It might work really well. I won't be using this again. On a more positive note, another Naturium product. Are we surprised? It's the Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil and this is $20. It's a really nice texture. It emoliates in your hands and like takes off your makeup beautifully. I'm trying to remember if it stung my eyes. I don't think it stung my eyes. It did make them a tad bit cloudy, which is pretty common with any kind of like cleansing balms or oils, but it did really, really get the makeup off my skin really nice. I don't know if I like this one more or the purple ginseng cleansing balm from Naturium. They're both $20. This one is probably just easier to get to because you can squeeze it in your hands and then apply it the balm you scrape out. So yes, I would repurchase again. I just don't know which one I would repurchase first. If you were curious to know what my favorite body wash is, it's the Method Body Wash. Um, I don't have a favorite scent, but we tend to lean more towards the coconut rice milk scent, but I also really love the cucumber seaweed scent as well. 
These are so good for drugstore body washes and I've tried a lot of different body washes. Like my face is oily, but my like arms and legs need all the moisture. It lathers up so nice. The smell is amazing. Smell is a little strong, so if you're sensitive to fragrance, just keep that in mind. So yes, 100% will continue to repurchase these. On to another body wash that's a little bit pricier, but it has a different function. This is again from Naturium. This is called the Perfector Salicylic Acid body wash. If you don't like fragrances at all, this would be perfect because it has no scent, it's fragrance free. But what this does is the salicylic acid that's in the formula really helps with like exfoliating your skin, making it brighter. If your skin's been feeling like really dull, um, this is great. What I like to do actually is I add a pump of this and a little bit of squeeze of this onto like a loofah just so I have some fragrance but I'm getting the benefits of this. It lasts forever. It's about $17 but I think it's really good as far as like making your skin feel really smooth and buffed. It doesn't dry out your skin at all either because there's glycerin in here. It has a very light lather like that's also why I like to mix this because this lather is very heavy. This lather is very mild but I use it as like more of an add-on in my shower routine if that makes sense. I'm I'm not repurchasing this immediately, but I think it's really, really good. And if I feel like my skin's starting to get dull, this is what I'll go by. Last product before we get into makeup. This is the Heritage Soak It In Body Lotion and it's meh. I gave it like a five out of 10. I wasn't really a huge fan of the body line that Heritage came out with. So they came out with a body wash and body lotion. I think this scent is really unique. It's the mint and yuzu scent, which I haven't really smelled anything like that before. It was, it's really nice. It's hard to explain. It's, it's minty, but also like a tad bit of a like fruity smell, um, which I thought was really nice and unique. But as far as like adding moisture to my skin, like I said, my arms and legs get pretty dry. It just didn't do the job. I actually felt like it was starting to dry out my skin. Same with the body wash. There was one, I think it was like cedar wood or, or some kind of wood. It smelled exactly like a Bath and Body Work candle that I really, the mahogany teak wood. It smelled just like that. I was so excited to use it. After about two weeks, I had to stop just because it was drying out my skin. So um, yes to all their hair products. Their body products aren't my favorite. So on to beauty products, starting off with the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. I am in love with this tinted sunscreen. I think it's amazing. I need to repurchase immediately because it's all I've been using this summer. It just sits so nicely. One, it acts as a sunscreen, so a good barrier from the sun. You still wanna use sunscreen underneath this. I really like the coverage that it gets because personally, I have a lot of redness in my cheeks, like, and then I'll have a few dark spots just from breakouts, things like that. I feel like it covers that really well, but I have some freckles on my nose and it lets those poke through. It still lets my natural skin poke through. It's like perfect for the summer. I hate saying this because it sounds cheesy, but it's like my skin, but better. It doesn't feel oily, which I was worried about as far as it being like a sunscreen. Products like blush and contour and bronzer sit beautifully on top of it. It is $32. Yes, I think it's worth the money. Yes, I will repurchase it. Next up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is not new. I'm sure you've heard about this a million times. I, <laughs> I didn't think I would agree with it, but I think it lives up to the hype. I think it is a very beautiful product. I know I mentioned that I have oily skin and I don't reach for products that give me like a do or glow from within, but whenever I wear more full coverage matte foundation, I don't like for my face to look flat, so I do apply this underneath my makeup, and I think it gives a very beautiful, like, radiant glow from within, but it doesn't leave me greasy or extra oily at the end of the day. As far as repurchasing, I don't think I use it enough to repurchase the full bottle at, I think it's, what is it? At $49, I think if you had dry skin, I think it's worth it at $49. I think you would use it all the time, but I would repurchase the mini size. The mini size is $20, which I think is fair for as much as I use it personally. So I like this, I'll continue using it. There are dupes out there, but I've tried those dupes. They make me a little bit more oily than this does. So I'm gonna end up getting the travel size here soon. On to the only brow gel or glue that keeps my brows in place. I have very thick, stubborn brows. I've tried so many products. This is the NYX or NYX. I'm not really sure the proper way to say it. I've always said NYX. This is the brow glue. It is really good. It's $9 and I choose this over my 
Anastasia Brow Freeze. I choose it over my Patrick Ta and I feel like I'm able to work it into my brows, really shape it, and then it dries down. So my brows go down naturally, so I'm always having to brush them up. Any kind of like waxes or pomades, my brows just fall. $9, yes, I will repurchase it. I actually went the other day to Target. They were sold out. So as soon as it's back in stock, I'm repurchasing this. Next up, my $5 favorite. This is the Essence Lash Princess. It is a very good basic drugstore mascara for $5 that you can't beat. It's not like, oh my God, this is the best mascara in the world, but it's a good solid drugstore option. So yes, I will continue to repurchase this because it's $5 and it works pretty freaking well for the price. So I actually have another mascara here. This is from Milk Makeup. I hate saying this because I love milk, but no, no, not for $28. It's just not worth the price. It was fine, basic mascara. It didn't wow me at all. I do like the tube though. I like that it's like a jelly tube and it, it makes the grip really easy, but it just, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth $28. If it was priced at like $15, then maybe yes, but I wouldn't repurchase this again. We have up next, this is a product that I could not finish. This is the Babe Lash Essence Serum. So it's supposed to help grow your eyelashes. And really, I'm not I'm not saying no based off the fact that it didn't work. I'm, I'm pretty sure it works. I've seen other people that really enjoy it. The, the issue that I had with it is that it leaves a really dark mark across my eyelid, which I know lash serums do that. I know that that's one of the side effects but I've used Grande Lash before and I did not have as much of an issue with Grande Lash. So personally, I would choose Grande Lash over this serum. So no, not repurchasing, didn't finish it. Next up we have, this is the Burst Dermaplaning Tool. This is great if you have peach fuzz or you wanna get like your little mustache and your unibrow. This is great. I've had the little Amazon dermaplaning tools that you can get like 50 for like $10. Nothing, nothing compared to this. This is like, it's really, really sharp. So you're gonna get like a really, really close shave, I guess is what you would call it. But I use this because I, I'm a hairy girl. I get a mustache, I get a little peach fuzz, even thicker than peach fuzz that shows up on my cheeks. So whenever I need my makeup to sit really nice on my skin, I use this. The tool itself is $20, but you do get three of these like replaceable blades and then the refills come in a pack of three and they're $10. So it also said on the instructions that you can reuse them if you clean them properly two to three times. My skin is just like uber sensitive, so I can't do that. So I have to use a fresh one every time I do this, but I do it about every two weeks. So it's not bad as far as like the price of refilling the blades. Highly highly recommend this though. Like if you want a really smooth base and to get rid of your peach fuzz, it works so freaking well. So that is all the empties that I have today. I hope that helped you decide if you are on the fence for any of these products. This is my first time making a video like this. So if you liked it, let me know if I should continue to save up my empty products and keep filming these because I really do like sharing the products that I love with you guys. Like I said, if you haven't yet, I would so appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to hit 30K by the end of the month. That's my goal. I also have my Instagram and TikTok linked in the description box down below. If you have any questions about any of these, please let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video.